Alrighty guys, so we officially made it to the track. Uh, Brian's not wearing a seatbelt, so that's why it's beeping, but They're not right to there. worry. Oh uh, yeah, Street Science over there. They're from San Antonio. Uh, they've helped us out before. So, we're gonna go ahead and park with them. Smiley Auto Works, Street Science, come on. What's up guys, we finally made it. Texas Motorplex, we're finally here. Uh, we're about to take in the car. After that, racing starts in about 45 minutes. I'm pretty sure everyone else already checked in. That's why I'm the only one here. Not a problem though. Um, we'll get it all straightened out and we'll go ahead and get some racing. I already set up the car, the suspension. I just got to open up the bottle before and we're good to go. Alrighty guys, so as you guys can see, we're lined up. Um, we're about to run the stick shift class. We're the last ones, but it's going by pretty quick and there's not too many cars out here. Um, better for us, I mean, less competition. We might take, might take home the money, but first to do that, we gotta make a pass. So, let's hope that it stays in one piece. This is the first pass on the 256 and uh, we'll see how it does. Alrighty, so first pass in the books. As you guys can see, I had a very hard time with the car. Uh, there were all driver errors. Everything worked perfectly fine with the car. I hope so, um, because whenever I got on the two-step itself, um, I was only on it for, for a little bit of time because I was trying to uh, play the light. But it's qualifiers. I got the jitters out of my system. Um, I just got to focus on me running my, my pass, making my time uh, for qualifying so I can go ahead and um, get seated as high as I can. Uh, I got some meth on the 1R, I got some five, uh, five gallons of that. The car was a little bit on the low side of fuel. Um, sometimes my my gauge works, sometimes it doesn't. We're gonna get it fixed after. Or actually, I'm gonna go to a five gallon fuel cell, so it doesn't even matter at this point. But um, yeah, it was on the low end, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up. Should get me a little bit over half, half a tank, and it should be fine for the rest of the event. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send the log over to my tuner, and he'll review the tune uh, i mean the review the log and review the tune if he needs to but honestly it's gonna be like a horrible log because i mean i missed third i missed fourth you guys saw the pass so let's go ahead and hope for a better pass uh q2 and we'll see how it does changes on the boost settings itself we're still going to keep it at 16 pounds just breaking in the transmission breaking it in right 16 pounds making passes down the track but we're going good uh let's see how we do the third pass right now we're just showing you something. Alrighty, so we're here at mit i'm checking out a couple of the cars pretty sure this is calvo motorsports uh there's some underground racing lambos if i'm not mistaken over there on that side another calvo motorsports viper over there pretty sure yeah we're gonna go ahead and check out the cars and we'll Show you guys what we see. This is probably one of my favorite cars. Nice track attack Viper. Tower Motorsports with some Bellic wheels. And we'll be seeing the. Oh snap, it's like. Has no hood inserts or anything. All the boost. All the boost. GP Racing. So let's see. In the front. Got an ice tank. Another ice tank in here. Some more to the seats. 
in your brother's car. Yeah, look at this one. B10, she'd be racing. Seven twenty S. I don't know the brand of those wheels, and that makes me feel poor. Awesome freaking car, dude. The driver. This phone is his. Alright, what's up guys? Day two of MITM. Yesterday was our four qualifying passes. You guys saw the video yesterday or whenever I posted it. But right now, it's the last day. Uh, we changed the shock settings, changed the watt box launch, um, we changed tire pressure, we changed what else? There was one thing that I forgot. Uh, boost? Yeah, the boost settings. Uh, so we up the boost, no delay, uh, different ramp, and let's see what the car does. Hopefully, I think it's gonna do good. I just gotta drive it. Um, I gotta stay on the watt box as long as I can on the launch. So the plan is that whenever I stage, I'm gonna let the other person stage first. Then I'm gonna go ahead and light my double bulbs. As soon as that happens, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the watt box so I can build as much boost as I can off the line. Because yesterday, I wasn't staying on it long enough. And as you guys can see, it wasn't building the boost. So that's the car would leave and then it would fall on its face. So we're gonna try to avoid that today, especially with eliminations. We have to focus on the light and it's, it's kind of not playing like light games. I just gotta do what's best for my car and get it up on, on boost as fast as possible. So see you guys in a bit.
first pass, first pass, eliminations, we're on to the second round. Oh, thank you, bro, thank you. We're on to the second round. I actually ran slower, but I beat him at the tree, so it was a whole shot victory. Um, I trapped 150, I officially need a parachute, so don't make fun of me now if I put a parachute on. But we're on to the second round, I'm super excited, I'm nervous, but uh, let's go. Let's go! <laughs> new transmission our best pass still ever is the 975 we just went 994 uh getting practice with it that's all it needs the car makes the power uh it's just finding you the right suspension and me driving the heck out of it so i know the car has uh, is capable of a low nine maybe a high eight um we're not turned up fully turned up yet we're we were at 18 to 20 pounds uh during these passes and eliminations but um realistically i just need more drive time I need to take the car out more, I need to drive. There's another event in Dallas in July. We might, we might come out to that um, to work on the 60 foot because it's an eighth mile six shift event. So we'll go ahead and do that. But appreciate the homies, Danny, Alan, Brian, everyone that came out. Yes, sir. And yeah, I mean, the other car was fast. Uh, the previous pass, he had ran a I know at like 170 miles an hour. So when you were shooting or we were under, uh, under gun, but it's all good. We have fun. Oh, they focus on. 